Hey guys, yeah, another Bingo here on YouTube. So today I would like to share with you five superstitions and beliefs in Taiwan that I personally find the creepiest. So this is actually suggested by a comment under my devotion video, and I thought it was a really good idea. So thank you for suggesting. If you're on this channel, most likely you have already watched or played the game Devotion, which the main theme is surrounding scary and harmful superstitions. Generally speaking, I definitely think Taiwan has some of the creepiest superstitions around the world. I've talked about this with some, some friends from Europe and from South America. We've all shared some superstitions from our countries, and compared to theirs, the ones from Taiwan just appear to be a lot weirder and unsettling. And on top of that, please keep in mind that these are the things that we actually teach our kids in school. Or at least it was the case when I was a child. And by teaching, I don't mean like, okay, so here are some superstitions we have in Taiwan. It was a lot more serious than that. We were taught to follow these superstitions and were taught to be afraid of the mostly made-believe consequences. So all the things I've listed today are all the things that I have been told from many teachers and many adults when I was a kid. So without further ado, this is the first superstition we have today. So if you are in Taiwan and you see a red envelope just randomly lying on the ground, definitely stay away from it as far as possible. And no matter what you do, do not pick it up. So this is something that the older generation in Taiwan do. If they have a young daughter in their family that passed away without being married, then they would put a red envelope on the ground and whoever picks it up has to marry the ghost of their daughter. Inside the red envelope, there will be money and sometimes even nails and hairs from the dead person, which makes it 10 times creepier. And although this doesn't happen as often as before, it, there's definitely still a possibility that you encounter it, so definitely be aware of it. The second belief is that you will be forced to eat all the food you've ever wasted in hell after death. So this includes all the leftovers you've ever thrown away. And I think all Taiwanese kids are probably familiar with this one. I remember when I was a kid, we had a leftover bin in school where we disposed our food that we couldn't finish. And our teacher would always point at the bin and told us that that is what we will be eating in hell if we don't finish our food. And that has always been very traumatizing for me to think about. To understand this one, you first need to understand how important it is for Taiwanese people not to waste food. A lot of people hold a very strong hatred towards people who couldn't finish their food. This is mainly because in early days, our past generations have gone through some very difficult times where food was scarce. And they kind of passed down this mindset against food wasting, but to a rather extreme extent. There are some different versions of this. In the version I've heard, even your tongue would get caught up. So first you go to hell, then your tongue gets caught off, and then you are forced to eat all the leftovers. But no matter which version, the aim is the same, to make the kid eat all their food. In Taiwan, it is a taboo to write names with red pen. At school, we would definitely be scolded by our teachers if we do this. The reason being, it is believed that the god in charge of the death usually writes dead people's names in red. Which is why if you write your own name with red pen, you will die early. And if you write other people's name with red pen, you are basically cursing them to death. Next, it is also believed in Taiwan that if you point at the moon with your finger, one of your ears will get cut off like Vincent van Gogh. This is definitely the one that has been haunting me for the longest. Even till today, I am reluctant to point at the moon even though I know that nothing would happen to my ear. This is also the one that I personally find the most ridiculous. I couldn't even find an explanation behind this that seemed reasonable. For me, it really seemed like the only purpose for this is to scare children. For the last one, it is generally believed in our culture that mirror is the way 
that connects to the other world. And there are many versions of this, but the creepiest I've ever heard so far is that if you look into the mirror at midnight at exactly 12 o'clock, then you would see a dead corpse of yourself. So that's basically it for today. Please also share with me some superstitions from your country in the comments. I would definitely like to learn about them. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and please subscribe to join me on my finger journey. And I will see you all in the next video.